Alright guys, how's it going and welcome back to another episode of the Manchester United career mode on FIFA 17. We're on to episode number 5 now of the series and just want to say if you have missed any of the previous videos in the series, make sure to go and check those out before continuing on with this one. There's a link in the eye in the top right hand corner of your screen and there's also a link in the description below to the playlist. So, uh, without any further ado, I've got my United shirt on. Let's crack on. And those of you that did watch the last episode, you'll remember we uh, a bit of a mixed bag, to be perfectly honest. We did a, had a good win in the Europa League to kick things off there. Uh, also got back on track in the Premier League, but we also ended up getting knocked out of the EFL Cup by third place Everton. And in fact, guys, we are going to be kicking things off in the Europa League with our next game against Strom's God of... Sweden I think they are from uh, then we've also got a game against Stoke City and then we've got a massive game against Liverpool the old enemy to finish off the episode again guys let me know uh, as we go through this episode whether you would like to see me up the up the difficulty to legendary uh, providing if we're still beating teams quite easily quite com comfortably um, if we are let me know in the comments section below and I'll definitely definitely turn up the difficulty for the next episode. But before we get further into things, we're going to do a bit of a training session. Uh, let's see if anybody goes up at all. Uh, two and Zebe is closing in on 71 rated, and other than that, there's not much more movement. Okay, guys, so now it is time for our next game in the Europa League against Throms God away. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they're in the, uh, the Swedish league. In fact, no, they're not. They are in the Norwegian league. I wasn't far off. It's Scandinavia. And you can see that they're not having the greatest of seasons, actually. They're very much mid-table, ninth position, seven games played, two wins, three draws, and, and two losses. Uh, conceded as many goals as they've scored, so uh, they are leaking goals. So hopefully it should be a comfortable win for us. Okay, here we are in Norway against Strom's God set. Uh, as I say, they're not having the greatest of seasons, so we should be looking at getting three points, should have thought here. Okay, the highlight and the player to watch is Marcus Rashford, the youngster. Obviously, two goals in his previous match, and he is starting, obviously, with the injuries to the likes of Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Wayne Rooney. Okay, strong set of lining up with Bruger Peterson, Vilsvik, um, Hobrighton, Madsen Par, Ajit Boateng, Abu Ovenstad, Topstad, Pedersen, and Nguyen. Some names there that roll off the tongue. And we are lined up with David De Gea, Antonio Valencia, Chris Smalley, Eric Bay, Luke Shaw, Marouane Fellaini, uh, Paul Pogba and De Herrera comes in for Bastian Schweinsteiger, Martial on the left, Mkhitaryan on the right, and Rashford through the middle, obviously, with the absence of uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Wayne Rooney for three months apiece. So he's going to get a lot of game time, the youngster. But if you remember last year's FIFA, I struggled against the uh, the so-called smaller side, so be interesting this. Looking for Rashford. Oh, almost. He does really well. Martial! Oh, that's a good save. Probably should have done better, to be perfectly honest. Oh, look at this. It's opened up. It's opened up. It's a fantastic recovering tackle. Not a bad ball into that far post. Looking for Mkhitaryan. And then Rashford. Into Herrera. Oh, skies it. That's a good ball. He's pacey, the winger. He's done Valencia. Worked out. It's a good effort. And we just about get that clear. They are dangerous on the counter. Mkhitaryan now. It's a good ball. Pogba, surely. It's another good save by the keeper, Boog. Martial, using that pace. He's beat his man. Who's with him, though? Rashford, it's another save by Boog. It's a good ball from up for Rashford. Looking for Martial. Martial slips it in. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant combination between him and Marcus Rashford. And we score right on the 45th minute. And we needed that because we were struggling. Brilliant play by Rashford. Slides uh, Martial in. And he slips when he takes the shot. But he steers it past Boog to put us 1-0 up right on our time. Get in, that's a vital goal. And there's the half time whistle. We score exactly on four, on the 45th minute. Excellent time to score. And as I say, we needed that because they were a tough team to break down in that first half. Just coming straight back. They're putting up a bit of a fight. Strong's got set. 
decent effort, wider the target, Mikatarian. Martial, that's 2-0, brilliant again from Rashford. The combination between Martial and Rashford, I probably could have taken a shot with Rashford, but uh, I decided to pass it, and it's a nice, calm finish by uh, Martial. As I say, I probably could have taken it on here with Rashford, but I'd already made my mind up to pass. Slices it across, and that's a calm finish again by Martial. Second goal for him, second assist from Rashford. It's the dynamic duo again, in effect. Out to Luke Shaw. Lovely turn by Pogba, hits one. Good save by Boog. There's the final whistle, it finishes 2-0. A much harder game, I think, than any of us were anticipating, but we keep up our 100% start to the Europa League. Anthony Martial, the hero of today, but Marcus Rashford, a special mention to him as well. Two assists, can't really overlook that. Uh, there you go, nine shots to their two. They only had one on target, and that was in the opening five minutes, I think it was. Seven on target for us. They actually edged possession. Uh, Anthony Martial got man of the match. Rashford second, obviously. Uh, the rest of the team played well. Damian did pretty poorly when he came on. I'm surprised at that. Okay, guys, and a little bit of a run-through of the financials so far this season. We're operating at a £2.91 million pounds profit. Earnings are £221.16 million. And expenses are at 218.25 million. Obviously, a huge chunk of the expenses comes from the transfers that we've made. Uh, the transactions you see, we're making six point, well, at least this month, at least anyway, 6.04 million in shirt sales. Highest selling shirts, Pogba, Ibrahimovic and Martial. Uh, travel costs, obviously, that's mainly due to the uh, Europa League. Um, flying into Draman. I've never even, never even heard of them. Uh, but uh, so far this season, from the travelling for away games, it's cost us 189,000. We've earned 731,000 from match day ticket sales, uh, and that was against uh, I think the highest. I don't know if that's the highest of the last opponent that we had uh, in Leicester City. The match attendance was 74,779. Tickets earnings for this season so far is 4.14 million and average attendance is 73,000. Okay and we're just going to jump straight into our return to the Barclays Premier League with our home game against Stoke City. Uh, we're actually catching up now to the point in real life because obviously we play Stoke City the day after I'm recording this uh, and you can see that they are in 14th position Stoke uh, but we have now slipped from top spot to second with Chelsea occupying the uh, number one spot. But obviously we've got a game in hand. So if we win against Stoke, we'll go back to the top of the pile. And after our midweek excursions, we are back at Old Trafford for the return of the Barclays Premier League against Stoke City. And we need to get a win to get back in top spot. And not only for that, but also put us up to a decent uh, standard for when we play, play Liverpool. Okay, I ended up skipping the team selection by mistake. So this is the team we're going with. De Gea, Shaw, Bay, Smalling, Valencia, Fellaini, Schweinsteiger, Pogba, Martial, Rashford, and then Mata has come in on the right-hand side. Excellent ball from Valencia to Mata. Mata comes inside. Looking for Pogba. Hits one. Oh, it's an excellent effort. Good save from Butland. Pogba now. Fellaini. Schweinsteiger. Back to Fellaini. Is he getting his first of the season? No, he doesn't. He spoons it over. Good closing. Excellent closing down by Fellaini. Martial. Lovely turn. Martial, oh, that, was a, that would have been a fantastic solo effort. Bulan out. Again, it's, it's Fellaini. Again, he gives it off to Martial. Good effort. Brilliant from Anthony Martial. He gets his third goal in a week. Brilliant play from Fellaini as well. He missed the goal-scoring opportunity earlier in the game, but presents Martial with an excellent opportunity. Slides it past Botland, very similar to his two goals earlier in the week. Sends Rashford. Oh, it's a brilliant bit of play by Rashford. And he's took there. That's got to be a sending off, Rev. He's clean through on goal. Has to be. And Jeff Cameron is bidding us an early farewell. Brilliant play by Juan Mata. Fellaini. Martial, and that's a second for Martial. He is on fire, the Frenchman. Get in, and he, he's plants himself on the concrete. Watch yourself, Anthony. Don't want another one injured. 
Good play by Mata to steal the ball. And, uh, and Stoke's first half is in absolute shambles. Down to 10 men. 2-0 down within the half hour. Oh, gets e that sums up. That sums up Stoke's first half. Rashford. Oh, he's done him. Rashford. Great effort. Good save by Butland. That's the end of the first half. We're going in 2-0 up. Stoke are also going in a man down as well. Uh, forgot who it was now. The Jeff Cameron it was who got sent off for brutally scything down Rashford after he absolutely skinned him. But uh, yeah, an excellent first half for us. It's an effort bonus. It's a good save from Dyer. Stoke's best chance so far, without a doubt. Carey against Chris Smalling. Good tackle by the United defender. That's not a free kick, Rev. That is a joke of a decision. That is a terrible bit of defending, and we're con going to concede. How? How have we not conceded there? That is, without doubt, the most ridiculous bit of FIFA I have ever seen. That is ridiculous. Juan Mata now rub salted in the wounds. There we go. They should have scored. Stoke City. I'm still wondering how they haven't. But we go straight up the other end and get a third. Depay at the heart of things. Just plays it nicely into the path of Juan Mata. One touch. Curls it past Butland. But how? How are we 3-0 up now? Okay. The uh, free kick's whipped in. It's free header. Bonnie should have scored. There's the final whistle. It finishes 3-0. Could have probably been a couple more for us. And Stoke could have had one or two. So, uh, a pretty entertaining game. But it was all over in the first half, to be honest. Uh, there you go. 14 attempts we had. They had two. They had one on... I thought, thought they had more than two. They only had one on target, it says. Uh, seven, of shot, seven of our shots went on target. 50-50 possession-wise. Uh, Martial Fellaini got man of the match actually 9.4 for the big man also should have had a goal to his name to be fair ok I've had an email through from Axel2 and Zebe says I was expecting a bigger role at the club that was offered to me when I signed for you so far I've not been given the chance to perform that role how would an 18 year old who's never played more than a minute for the United first team expect a bigger role at the club than basically just playing in cup games You'll get your chance, Axel. You've just got to be patient, son. Okay, I've got some more training before the Liverpool game. Let's see if anyone can go up at all. Uh, Foster Mensa has done all right. Two and Zabe's actually already gone up. He must have gone up while before, in between the training sessions, to be perfectly honest. And as I say, guys, it is now time for that big game away at Anfield against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. And Liverpool are in seventh position. Three wins, two draws, and two losses from their seven games this season obviously we're in top spot six wins from the seven games just a one loss so uh, hopefully we can continue our good form and good momentum in this massive game okay here we go probably the biggest game in british football liverpool versus manchester united the old enemies go head to head one more time the two most successful clubs in british football Going head to head. Liverpool line up with Carius, Klein, Claven, Sacco, Moreno, L uh, Lucas, um, Henderson, Stewart, Wijnaldum, Sturridge, and Mane. That back four is definitely suspect. And we are lining up with a pretty unchanged side from the last game De Gea, Valencia, Smalling, Bay, Shaw, Fellaini, Pogba, Schweinsteiger, Marshall, Rashford, and Juan Mata. Juan Mata. Good tackle by Moreno. Alberto Moreno with the tackle. Never thought I'd hear that. Nice ball into Martial. Looking for Rashford. This could be it. The boy from Manchester scores against Liverpool. Get in. We are 1 0 up at Anfield within the quarter hour mark. Get in. The youngster gets his first goal in a couple of games. Great play from Martial. Slides in Rashford. One touch. Steadies himself. Can't finish. Pass. Carriers 1 0. Whipped over. It's a decent header. Great, great header from Juan Mata to stop that going on target. Really good block. Threw himself at it. It's actually handball. It's actually handball, but we get off the hook, obviously. It's whipped in. It's a 
not the oh it's off the bar how have we not conceded that's twice in two games we've had really really big chunks of luck Mane great tackle from Bay. absolutely top draw tackle that's not a foul is it not ref how is that not a foul that is nonsense refereeing Pogba now out to Luke Shaw Oh, it's opened up. Fellaini. First goal of the season. The ex Evertonian gets in on the act. Tomorrow on Fellaini. Makes it 2 0 before half time. Brilliant work from left back Luke Shaw. It opened up so nicely for Fellaini. One touch. Curls it past Carriers. 2 0 against Liverpool. Gets in. That's the half time whistle. And we're going in 2 0 up away at Liverpool. Rashford and Fellaini with the goals. Rashford should skin Sacco. Tries to smash it across and it's off the underside of the bar and they get it clear. Mane, excellent tackle again by Luke Shaw. It's going to be keeper's ball as well. I don't know if that's not passed back either. That's a good tackle though. And that's going to be a free kick in a very, very promising area. Bay, I think, is going to pick up a yellow card here. That, that is not a red card. That is not a red card. How is it a red card? I'm sorry, but that is not a red card. It's laid off. Hits one. Tipped over. I think. I oh know it's just over the bar itself. Sturridge. Wasted opportunity for Liverpool. Rashford. He's toying with them. Rashford. Martial. Off the post. Oh, we've hit the post and the bar. There's the final whistle. It finishes 2-0 to Manchester United. Decent performance. Should have been more than two. Then Liverpool could have maybe had one or two as well. But uh, overall, very, very happy. If you look at that, it, could, it we look a little bit fortunate, to be honest. Five shots apiece. Only one of theirs on target. Three of ours. They actually edged possession a little bit more. But then again, they had 11 men. Uh, man of the match went to Luke Shaw. Fair enough, I thought you had an excellent game. So, with that win against Liverpool, we are still in top spot by a point on Chelsea. And then we've then there's a seven-point gap between Chelsea and Palace, so we have got a decent lead on the chasing pack. Uh, only eight games into the season as well. Okay, guys, so that is where we're going to leave off things this episode. A pretty decent episode, won all three games. We've continued our 100% start to the Europa League and we are back in top spot in the Premier League. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button. If we can hit, say, 25 likes before midnight, the day this goes up, which is Saturday, I will upload episode number six the following day as well. So make sure to smash that like button for that. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as well for daily FIFA 17 content. Head on over to Twitter, give us a cheeky follow at Fudgy underscore FC while we're at it. And other than that, guys, I will catch you next time.